Hey there, Zach. Kimberly here with Elite Roots Digital Marketing Agency. I reached out and spoke with you on Friday, promising this short video, giving you a few tips to help you increase your online traffic. Now, and I don't want to waste anyone's time, so at the end of this video, if you like what you've heard and would like any further help getting more leads, then give me a call. If not, no harm, no foul. Please take these tips and use them for yourself. If you could, the only thing that I do ask is just for a sentence or two of feedback on this video, either in the comments or as a response to the email that I sent you the link in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'd like to comment on is uh, going to be your content on your web page. Oh, and I do see here that you're, uh, you have a not secure website, so that's really something that Google sees and they aren't going to send you as much traffic because of that. But as I scroll through, I really do like um, a lot of things on your website. You have really nice pictures. I like the, the layout that you have down here. It's very pleasing, looks great. You've got your areas served I just saw down here. You've got Columbus in there, so perfect. It's one of the biggest cities or biggest areas uh, as far as keywords go um, that's searched for the area that you serve. Your logo's great. The biggest thing that you're kind of missing is just, in general, your content. Now, and content is everything that you do have on your front page here. The words, of course, but the pictures and how those pictures are saved as well. See how this is just a bunch of numbers and letters? That can be saved as a keyword, too, and that'll really help uh, plug more keywords into your, your home page here. The reason having a lot of content is so important is Google actually has some algorithms that love content. We're talking 1,500 to 2,000 words, and I know that seems like a lot, but the more content that you have on your front page, the more keywords you can plug in, and the more keywords that you have, the more traffic that you're going to end up getting onto your site, especially if you can get ranking for those keywords in the top spot or two. All right, so that's really, really tip number one for you is just kind of go through your site and see if you can find some more unique keyword rich content to plug into your site. Um, get these pictures saved as keywords, that'll help you too. And of course, get this website as a secured website instead of not secure. Second thing I'd like to talk to you about is gonna be your Google My Business profile. You're actually doing a really great job here. I, I like what I'm seeing overall. You've got some great reviews, almost all five star. You've got a 4.8 there with 34 reviews. As I kind of scroll down, you've got uh, a lot of your information all filled out. You've got a lot of photos, which is great. Um, my question is whether or not those photos are saved as keywords with the ones on your website um, not being so. I assume probably not here as well. That'll definitely help you, um, especially if you target some of those Columbus keywords because that's where a lot of your high, higher volume um, search keywords are coming from. Um, and then the other thing you can do with these photos is actually geotag them um, and that'll really just show Google exactly where you're providing services and that'll help you rank in, a lot higher in the Google Map Pack which I'm about to talk about. So here's just a, a standard search, Fence Installation Columbus, Ohio. This particular search actually has a volume of 600 we take a peek over here, see 600 volume for this particular search, which is the highest volume for the Columbus area. You can see there's quite a few others that are still fairly high volume as well. So the first thing that I normally see is, is some ads up here at the top, but apparently no one's wanting to pay for ads for this particular keyword at the moment, but that's okay. So the, the first thing that we see in this particular search is the Google Map Pack. Now, and the reason this is so important is because 40% of the volume of uh, traffic that comes from this particular keyword actually tend to either call or click just in these three businesses alone. So getting you to the top of this particular area is really, really going to help build more traffic for your site. And there is one other thing that goes into it besides what I've talked about so far, and that is citations. And in fact, that can really be... Uh, one of the biggest things that goes into your Google Map Pack, as long as everything is filled out, which it looked like yours was pretty well done. So with your Google Map Pack, citations play such a big part. Now, and what is a citation? A citation is a listing of your business exactly as you have it in your Google Business Profile in different directories across the web. Now, and directories are like... Um, 
Angie and HomeAdvisor and Yelp, those are all directories. Now the easiest way to get into more is to find out what these three companies have for citations, what directories they're in, get into those exact same places, and then try and find even more. There's hundreds of directories out there, you just have to find them. So as I scroll down here, we're going to talk about the last thing today, which is going to be backlinks. So backlinks have a lot to play, or a lot to do with how you rank in this organic section. If we're not talking about your content and your website, the biggest thing is backlinks. So let's kind of take a quick peek at what how your website's doing backlink wise. So it looks like we've got 24 referring domains giving 33 backlinks. Now what is a backlink you may be ask, asking. A backlink is just a link from one website back to yours. It's just linking those two sites together. So someone can be scrolling on this website or on a website over here and maybe this website over here is about uh, different types of fencing not necessarily trying to sell anything but different types of fencing maybe it's a blog or whatever and then you have a link to your website somewhere in that in that site that's gonna link back to you that'd be a really strong strong backlink weaker backlinks are still great to have a lot of those citations that we talked about earlier are gonna give you a, a backlink but those aren't super strong ones but there's still something so combined together with your referring domains and backlinks, you're currently ranking for 79 keywords. Now on the only time that a keyword shows here is if you're in the top 100, but of course that's the, t the first 10 pages of Google. We don't want you on the 10th page, we want you on the first page, because that's actually going to get you more traffic to your site. So right now with these three things combined, you're getting t uh, organic traffic, so clicks to your site 24 times per month. Let's go ahead and take a peek real quick at your competition. Um, this is the, the site that I found that is ranking top in, in a lot of the Columbus area right now. As I kind of scroll through, I'm not really seeing a whole lot more content overall than what you currently have. So a lot of their power is actually coming from their backlinks. Backlinks are how your website is powered. Power is backlinks and backlinks is power. <laughs> So currently they have 122 referring domains, giving them 939 backlinks. And that is getting them ranked for 305 organic keywords. All of that combined, they're getting 540 clicks to their site per month. Now, how many clients are you missing out on because you don't have the power to your site and the keywords on your site in order to get ranked for those keywords to get this kind of organic traffic? What would you do with another 500 clicks to your site? All right, so that is all I have for you today. Um, I wanted to keep this video as short as I could, so I don't want to go in any more depth to anything. Um, if you'd like to know more on how I can help you and your business bring in new, more new customers, please reach out and we can chat. If not, no big deal. Please enjoy these tips I've given you. If you don't mind giving me some feedback on how I did in this video, it would really be greatly appreciated whether you're interested or not. And I hope you found it helpful. So thank you so, so much for watching. God bless and talk to you soon.